Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. And so for today's video, we will be fixing this oil high temperature trip alarm onto our hydraulic system. This is the hydraulic system which we use for our Angkor. And it is reaching more than 70 degrees. And the Angkor is 1 meter above the water. And we need to secure this Angkor. But because of this alarm, we cannot operate anymore the winches. So come and join me in this new learning. So the vessel dropped Angkor after departure in Singapore. And these windlasses are hydraulic driven, which means that we have this common hydraulic system which is being used to operate these windlasses. So we have this hydraulic tank which is being cooled down by water. So in this operation or in this troubleshooting, we have this high oil temperature alarm onto our panel. And this alarm will stop the operation of this hydraulic system. As you can see, it is reaching 70 degrees Celsius. And this is while the anchor is 1 meter above the water. And the first thing that we need to check is to see the condition of the filter of our cooling system. So I asked the crew to check if the filter is choked or this restricts the flow of the water which is leading into high oil temperature on our hydraulic system. And after removing the filter and cleaned by the crew, which is not that really dirty, so we need to investigate what is the main cause of this high oil temperature onto our system. Upon checking, we ask also the crew if they were able to run the cooling system while they are using it or uh, heaving up the anchor. So in order for us to secure the anchor, since it is just one meter above the seawater, then we need to bypass first this high oil temperature alarm so that we will be able to secure the anchor and then we will let the hydraulic oil to cool down since we are in a traffic area so we need to secure this anchor and we can sail out and checking the wiring diagram we need to find out where is this high oil temperature alarm and as you can see the one that will trigger this one is the tm2 timer this is the indication light and this is the TM2 timer. Once this is closed, then it will activate the alarm. And of course, there is something that will activate the TM2 timer. And checking onto our uh, wiring diagram, it is this X2 contacts from the X2 relay. And the X2 relay will be activated by this temperature sensor which is fitted into our hydraulic tank but since it is just like uh, three meters or two meters away from the home of the anchor we need to remove this tm2 timer so that the system will still operate and this will just require a minute or two to secure this um, anchor so i removed the tm2 timer which will then run the system and and clear this high oil temperature alarm and after that we tested the system which is by the way can be started once we remove this tm2 and in this way we will be able to secure now the anchor and the vessel can sail out and because in this area in the singapore it is really traffic so we need to maneuver the vessel as fast as we can it only took us a minute 
to secure this anchor and we were able to sail out properly and safely and after that i put back the timer and let the system to cool down this will again operate or activate the alarm once we have this high oil temperature alarm so this is really very important protection to our hydraulic system and as you can see after letting this the cooling system to run our temperature uh, immediately dropped down so after that we did some testing about this system and it didn't happen again this hydraulic high oil temperature alarm by the way we have two pumps in this system and this is really big pumps and we have also this cooling water system and we have filter in here and then we have a continuous uh, flow of water which has this heat exchanger for our oil or hydraulic oil system after that i again uh, put back everything into normal um, operation so that on the next um, usage of uh, this wind winches we will be able to operate them properly with the proper protection in them actually i was not able to uh, take a lot of clips during this uh, troubleshooting because i was in a hurry to fix uh, this trouble since we are really in a high traffic area so i need to fix the system as fast as i can so that i will be able to clear that alarm and maneuver the vessel as fast as we can and the most important thing that you need to really focus on is on how to read the wiring diagram in this way you will be able to pinpoint the exact um, problem onto our system and which is the protection that is really activating our alarm as you can see during this troubleshooting i was able to locate the one that will really stop the operation of our pumps so it was the tm2 timer and if you are really in this pressured situation which we need to really fix the trouble immediately or to secure this anchor immediately so if you are really good in reading reading wiring diagram this will really uh, lessen the amount of time of fixing or troubleshooting this kind of problem after that we proceeded into the next port which is uh, the TPP Malaysia so that's it guys I hope you learned something from this video and this is your Lakey Jake and see you